Thank you, Mr. President. Legislation is supposed to be a cure for a problem. Right or wrong, provide help for those we represent. This bill is 0 for 3. The legislation before us fails to help anyone with the exception of the governor. The businesses, schools, and local governments in my district that have been looking for answers regarding the never-ending edicts and laws coming from the governor will still have the same questions after today. When the owner of a baseball camp losing reservations by the day calls me to say, how will this bill help him reopen and reassure families from across the country that they can come to upstate New York this summer and I'll go with it, I have nothing new to tell him. Rental properties, restaurants, and countless businesses that depend on tourism, mainstays in my district, still have no answers or guidance on how to plan for the future. When Unadilla Valley Motocross, the longest continuous running pro motocross facility in the United States, wants to know how to plan and avoid closing forever, my answer today is the same as it was yesterday. It's up to the governor. And these are just a few examples. Trust me, if I listed all of the unanswered questions that constitute uh, the pandemic and where these unscientific regulations are coming from, the governor, we would be here all day. When New Yorkers went to bed last night, there were 96 executive orders in place. When they go to bed tonight, there will be still 96 executive orders in place. The exact same mandates on businesses, restrictions on our freedoms, and lack of constitutional checks and balances. And who are we leaving in charge? A governor who is under multiple investigations faces charges of sexual harassment and has ordered his administration to hide the facts about deaths in our nursing homes. It's a disgrace and an affront to every voter across the state. I took an oath of office, the same as every member of this House. The oath includes the line to faithfully discharge my duties as a New York State Senator. Discharge does not mean abandon. I want to quote a uh, former great New York governor, Theodore Roosevelt. In any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. And the worst thing you can do is nothing. This bill does nothing. And I will be voting in the negative. Thank you, Mr. President.